to see you again. My name's Wendy and this is my garden. Uh, it is April the 17th today and we are bathed in glorious sunshine once more. Um, hopefully this is going to be the start of a much longer warmer period because we've been uh, very cold for the last uh, week or so, um, especially overnight. So I've been very cautious about not really putting anything else out. The stuff you can see just behind me was put out before the cold snap uh, hit us and has actually been covered with fleece for most of the last week or so. I've just uncovered it today to give it some, to give it some air and to just check on how things are doing. I'll show you that in a little while. But first, I'm going to plant some brassicas in one of the beds at the top end of the garden. Um, so we'll go there now. So this bed has already got um, some onions that I planted from sets in October and it's got broad beans at this end but in the middle I'm going to put some of these are greyhound cabbage and some dwarf curly kale. Now I'm probably going to be putting them in closer than is recommended because I don't have massive amounts of space but I'm going to put three of each in and just see how they go. So although this is actually technically a no-dig garden I am having to just uh, dig out some little holes to put these in. I've been using um, an old broom, not an old broom, I've been using um, a spade handle as a dibber um, but it doesn't <laughs> doesn't seem to make the holes big enough so I'm kind of giving up on that idea for the moment and just digging bigger holes when I need them so this is the this is a greyhound cabbage um, which as the name suggests, is a fairly fast growing plant. So I'm going to pop three of those in. As you can see by their roots, I think they were definitely ready to be put in. This is a dwarf uh, variety of curly kale, so hopefully it won't be um, trying to outcompete the greyhound too much space. So sorry I dropped you. So we seem to have had a little bit of a mushroom issue. Sorry, the sun's behind me so I can't see a thing on the screen. Hopefully that's focusing. We um when we made the beds obviously we put the cardboard down and then I put down a layer of leaves and then covered that with compost and we've had this mushroom grow up throughout all of the bed. Um, I am given to understand that it's perfectly harmless, that it doesn't affect plants and that it's the kind of mushroom that um, feeds on, com uh, not compost, on cardboard. So hopefully once the cardboard's all degraded, this little fella will be on his merry way and I won't have to worry about them anymore. if anyone can help me with an issue that I seem to be having with my broad beans. They've stopped growing, although they've got some beautiful flowers on, look. But yeah, they're not getting any taller. And I don't know how well you can pick this up, but they seem to be yellowing. There's no sign of any brown rust or anything like that on them. But um, yeah, I don't quite know what's going on here 
anyone got any ideas and can help shed some light on the matter for me, that would be great. Any better views? If you can spot that there, that is the first of my first early potatoes showing up. I just pull the straw back gently. There he is. Hello, little potato plant. Bees have started flowering. This is the bed that I was sat in front of at the very beginning of this week's video and as you can see everything survived the recent frost. It all seems to be growing really nicely and we've got the first radishes of the season. Lettuce is looking really healthy. There's some more radishes in there. Beetroot's small but coming along. And my first time growing turnips. These two here have been munched on. But further into the bed. And they're looking pretty good. Really happy with that. Over here in the work area, I have a lovely husband making me, excuse the shadow, another lovely new bed. This is just a skinny one um, and I'll probably use this for the successional sowing of lettuce and um, radish and that sort of thing, the stuff that doesn't need to have a huge amount of space. need to decide where I'm going to put all of this lot. These are all um, kohlrabi and green sprouting broccoli. I've got some calabrese down there having a little drink along with some borage plants. And, and I've got my strawberries here which um, I'm going to plant alongside the edge of the greenhouse but I haven't yet decided whether they're going to just go straight in the ground or whether I'm going to put another uh, skinny bed in there. I think probably another skinny bed, but we'll see. And then my sweet peas at the top here. I've just pinched this side out. And these are the ones, these are my first ones. Um, as you can see, some of them have not fared too well. Partly down to me not watering them, I think. Um, partly down to the weather. Where are you going, Wormy? Did you not like having that disturbance? There you go.
don't think that worm was very impressed at being disturbed like that. Mm -hmm. He popped out of there and then wiggled all the way over here and he was going coming over the edge so I popped him back in. Are you filming that? Oh, uh, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm filming that. Watching him. It's Sunday the 18th of April and I've got quite a few bits and pieces that I need to get on with. Um, I've got a whole load of things here that I need to sew along with some more bits and pieces out of my box. Um, I've got to prick out and pot on these which are filled a kraut uh, cabbage and these which are Nautic uh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, so I just thought I would, as it's a nice day, sit in the sun or partial shade as I am at the moment and enjoy the weather and pot some things up. I, I don't know how far we got with that because when I went to change the camera position, I noticed that it wasn't recording anything. So hopefully I've got something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get four of each of the filled kraut cabbage and the Nautic uh, Brussels sprouts pricked out into this tray here. Um, and then I'll carry on with the other bits and pieces that I need to sew. So that's a tray of the Fielder Kraut cabbage and Nautic Brussels sprouts all ready to sit in the greenhouse and grow on. I'll use this same tray for the purple sprouting broccoli that I picked up during the week because I still haven't found the packet that I lost the other day. I'm not going to sow too many because I only actually need three to mature. <coughs> I'll just put a purple one in there, that will remind me that's what that's the purple sprouting broccoli. I've got Two different sunflowers that I'm going to sow. Um, one of them, I, the giants, I will probably um, put into one of the beds that's going to grow beans in and see if I can train the beans to grow up the sunflowers, a bit like the um, Three Sisters method with the corn and the squash and the beans, but it will just be beans and sunflowers. And these ones I think are just absolutely stunning. The colour of them, beautiful. So I'm not going to do very many, um, probably just four of each, two per pot.
to these ones. Their seeds are black. Are you watching what I'm doing, Mr. Hoverfly? Okay, so next we have three lots of cucumber. We have a standard cucumber, a small cucumber and a pickling cucumber. I'm going to sow two of each. Um, just I don't really want any more than one of each to carry on with. So with cucumber seeds, you want to make sure you sow them that way round rather than that way round because it helps to prevent them from rotting. So on edge. That's centimetre deep. These ones are called Piccolo di Pragi. Parigi. Piccolo di Parigi. And these are the pickling cucumbers. One in that one. One in that one. And the last of the cucumbers that I'm going to do are called Market Moor and they are just a standard long cucumber. Um, I've had these seeds for a while so I'm not sure whether they're going to germinate at all but we'll give it a go. So I think you've probably seen enough of me for one week. Um, thank you for joining me. I'd love to see you come back again. Um, leave me a comment, leave me a like, um, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.